Previously on Asia's Next Top Model, Sophia's skills won her the makeup challenge, leaving Helena fuming. I'm very pissed off about that. I don't think anybody deserves to win except for me. The girls went back to basics with a WWF photo shoot directed by me. Something magical is in the camera. Back at the house, things got heated as Helena lets off steam on an unsuspecting Sophia. The only person I feel like quite mean is you. Helena's bad behaviour continued in judging, risking her place in the competition. We certainly don't expect you to stamp your way back up across the runway and back up onto the stage. It is highly disrespectful. But it was eager student Melissa that was sent packing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. In the end, the pressure from the judges got to Helena, pushing her over the edge. <laughs> Six girls remain, each vying for the top prize of a modelling contract covering the UK and Europe with London-based store models, including a three-month all-expenses-paid working trip to London. A cover shoot with Harper's Bazaar magazine, a cash prize of 100,000 Singapore dollars, a contract to become the face of Canonix's 2013 campaign and drive away in a new Subaru XV. Who will be one step closer to becoming Asia's next top model? Last week, elimination. I was just a bit angry. Nadia said she's sick of hearing my excuses. Todd thinks I'm a liar. I have a hard time believing your story a little bit. And I, just, I didn't mean to use it as an excuse. You said you don't believe me. The judges are tired of hearing your excuses and stories. Why are they attacking my personality? Can't we just concentrate on my work? I don't need their approval about how they think about me. And I'm trying my best. Helena, it's weird. I haven't got to talk to her properly. I don't know what's going through her, but I feel awkward myself. Like Things are not going really smooth between everybody. I don't really like to be in groups, but it's just happening. Hey, hey. Um, so only like one person can go into like your room. We all know that she has problems with you for some reason, so it will be awkward if I leave and they are together. So it's better if you go because otherwise it's awkward. After the elimination, there was still Asta, Helena, and myself in a room, whereas Stephanie had the biggest room alone, so one girl could move in there. I just like, don't understand why she's like chosen to have like some problem with me and go around and like make stuff up. I just don't know like what to say right now. I don't know if she like really believes that in her head or she's just that like manipulative. Like, I have no idea. Creeping me out. Hearing all the lies and then seeing her panic attack. It's really as freaky to see how good of an actress she is. I just really didn't want to sleep there anymore. So it was an easy decision and I packed up my stuff and headed out to Stephanie's room. Sophia, she was moving her stuff out because she didn't want to share a room with me. I'm not really affected by it. Basically, f off. Start from the outside and work your way in. The world will be watching as you make your grand entrance. Where does it say start from the outside, walk your way in? Maybe the runway starts outside. <laughs> we have to walk at the back. <laughs> uh, maybe it's can walk. You walk at the back. <laughs> so stupid. I think I'm the, the worst <laughs> guest. You have to get a really good rest.
So today we all woke up excited for the challenge and we were met by Nadia and Joey, which was a fun surprise. Hello ladies. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the fine dining restaurant Katia at the Capella Hotel Singapore. Today's lesson is all about elegance, poise and deportment. Going into the challenge, I'm still upset. Nadia said I had a bad attitude and I was very hurt. She now thinks that I'm a bad person. That's not how I want to be perceived. Let's start by the way that you hold yourself. Like now, the way that you're sitting. Sophia is sitting quite appropriately. She's actually bringing her knees up a little bit and then holding herself in. So your posture is really important. It's not like this. It's not like what, Joey? Joey is showing you the classic example oh my God. of, uh, do I have to be at this event? What time can I go home? And then if the host is talking to you a little bit too much and getting a little bit too friendly? I think he likes me. <laughs> <laughs> okay? I don't blame him. <laughs> so these are the classic examples of what not to do. So, next up, let's do an interview. You're on the red carpet. Yes. Jessica. Hi, who are you? I'm Jessica, I'm from Thailand. Oh, and what brings you from Thailand all the way over here? Yes, I have invited and today I'm so excited to come to the event today. We have to be confident, be everything perfect and people will like you at the first meet. I'm Sophia and I'm from Japan. Who's your favorite designer from Japan? I <laughs> would say Sanrio. <laughs> Okay, thank you. <laughs> I definitely learned that it's good to be prepared. Also, start studying a lot more about fashion. We're gonna move on to your challenge. It's a little mini challenge and it's gonna be here in the restaurant. We're gonna have a lunch where you're gonna show me all of the things that you've learned and perhaps the things that you haven't quite nailed yet. Helena was very quietly sitting over here. It was a little bit subdued over here, and I know that you're probably still a little bit upset, but try to shake it off, okay? Nadia said that I still looked upset. I was feeling like crap, actually, but I didn't want to let it show. I know you're not supposed to slurp, but I got like a little air and it made a little sound because it was so awkwardly quiet. I was like, <laughs> and I was like, oh. I heard your slurp. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Try to get as much as we can manage in our mouth and not more. We don't want to slurp. Jessica, you stopped eating. Why was that? This too spicy. Okay. So yes, there will be times that we can't tolerate the food. We don't have to eat the food that's put in front of you, but as politely as possible. Jessica, even though she didn't want to eat her soup, she simply turned her spoon upside down and sat there very calmly. She was very refined. All right, ladies, now you have some dim sum to try. I'm just myself while eating and enjoying the food. I ate the whole thing and I looked like... I can't use chopsticks. I've never used chopsticks before. I don't know how to handle them. And there were like three dumplings, a spoon and a pair of chopsticks, so I knew I was screwed. Gaff is not very chopstick savvy. These are the things that you need to work on when you're traveling for modeling. You will need to use chopsticks if you go around Asia. Mm -hmm. Astas was having a difficult time. Whereas Jessica came across very confident, very calm, cool and collected. She was the only girl who was eating her food very delicately. All right, girls, you have all done a great job and you have graduated the top model school of poise and grace. And as a treat, you'll be all attending a red carpet event for Farrah Khan with Nadia and myself. Ooh. I'll try not to look like an idiot. If there are such situations like eating with the chopstick again, I'd rather stay hungry all night. Farrah Khan is a Malaysian designer that creates exquisite grounds for major celebrities, and you will all be wearing her beautiful gowns later. Wow. Uh -huh. Now the winner of today's mini etiquette challenge will get to go to the award-winning Ariga Spa at the Capella Hotel of Singapore with me. Also get the VIP getting ready treatment. The winner of today's mini challenge is
the movies at Universal Studios Singapore. Meet over 100,000 marine animals. Discover the world's largest aquarium with over 800 species. And Asia's ultimate destination. Resorts World Sentosa, Singapore. The winner of today's mini challenge is Jessica. Wow, I'm so happy for this one because I never go to a spa. Let's go and have a spa. Getting some one-on-one -on -one time with Nadia, I think all of us like wish we could get to know her more. So that's a really good prize. I don't know about spa much. I think it will be a relaxed moment. It's really good to go with Nadia. So it's your first time going to a spa? Yeah, this is my... Is it good? It's really good. <laughs> we only have one hour to do our hair and makeup for the challenge. <sighs> I don't have makeup to use. I'm actually using lipstick as eyeshadow. Mm. This doesn't work. You look really good. Thank you. Thank you. We have one hour to get ready. I took my time to get ready. I was ready first. <laughs> this is will be my first time at the lace carpet. And as normally, I don't know what the photographer we ask. Usually they just ask, hi, what's your name? Where are you from? Just remember the poses that we've taught you before, but at the same time, don't make it too posy because this is a real life occasion. Wow, I get a lot of experience from Nadia to use in my modeling career. Wow. I you like your dress? dress? Yes. Are amazing. you ready to rock the red carpet? Yes. Okay, <laughs> come on, let's go. Sophia, five minutes done, let's go. Putting out your seatbelt. I'm really excited because we can eat, see a lot of people. It's going to be really exciting. For the red carpet event this evening, I really hope the girls will come with elegance, poise, presence, everything that they've learned today. The girls really need to turn it on and bring on the star energy. Kate, oh, so beautiful. When she was walking down the stairs, she looked like a celebrity that everyone wanted to get to know. Who are you wearing today? Who are you wearing? Ah, Farrakhan. Farrakhan. Yeah. And in terms of the hair and the makeup, was it all yourself as well? Yeah, I did it by myself. Yeah. You like it? It's very nice. It's very, very nice. nice. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't say that to everyone. Yeah. I, I have. Oh, wow. The reporter, he talked too fast. <laughs> I tried to get him, so the last words always get it. So I say, ah, I know what he asked for. I think I did well. I just had a moment of weakness, and so I'm over it now. It's a new day, and I'm just gonna try to brush it off. I'm gonna give up my all. I need to kill these girls. <laughs> I wanna win so bad. Hello. Hi. How are you Hello. feeling? I'm feeling a lot better today. New day, feel good. Oh, I like that high <laughs> Thank you. Sophia, she walked right to the center of the photo wall and she made the photographers move to where she was. That is the mark of a true star. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. My name's Helena. Helena, hi, I'm Sean. Sean, nice to meet you. I'm really comfortable going to events like this because I go to a lot of events in Hong Kong. So I'm quite used to just talking to people, striking up conversations. Oh my god, my hair, I tried to ask my friend to help me, but she's so busy, so I just get pinned. I'm Stephanie. 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 I will remember your face. Your face is a magazine. Because it's more unique. Oh, thank you. Crowd is not my comfortable place. It's not my comfort zone. So I want to learn to get out of that. Walking into the event, I was really, really nervous. It's OK if you just go into the photo wall and pose. But there are reporters and 
I don't know what they're gonna ask. What do you think of the dress you're wearing this evening? Oh, what do you think? I think it's really beautiful. Yeah, what do I? I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I think I look pretty cool, and you said I look beautiful. So I do. Yeah. I do think you look beautiful. Asta, she was coming out of her shell and was actually having fun with her interview. I was pleasantly surprised to see the fun and flirty side of her. She did really well. All right, well, I don't want to keep you any longer. Go enjoy the evening. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I feel like a celebrity walking to the event. Just really, really nice moment there. Oh, I'm half Japanese, half Swedish. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm a, like a tall Asian. <laughs> I felt pretty comfortable. The conversation just flowed and it was actually really fun. I like Sophia because she's like a true star. Oh, she's been really yeah. entertaining. Entertaining, yeah. Entertaining. Yeah. Actually, so is Helena. Yes. Because it's Helena's nature. Yes. Helena was in her element tonight. From the time she walked down the stairs, she stepped onto the red carpet and mingling with the guests, she was top model personified. <laughs> Girls, you all look spectacular. Did you have fun? Yes. yes. Well, it was good. I'm glad you had fun. We had a lot of positive feedback. Some of you did really well. In fact, one of you stood out and was the winner of the challenge tonight. And the winner takes home a beautiful Farrakhan dress. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and the winner of tonight's challenge is Helena. Yeah. I was really happy to have won a uh, Farrakhan dress. I was actually thinking, oh my gosh, I want to steal the dress I'm wearing. So I'm really happy I got to actually keep one. Thank you. So enjoy. I think Kalina deserves to win. I know she needed that because she's been down lately. Mm -hmm. It was nice. Tired, but nice. I didn't have time to eat. I was like, oh, I really want to eat, but... Uh, Helena, I've heard you say so many things about me, like things to me, like there's just fabricated things going on. I decided to confront Helena with everyone there because I wanted to get it out in the open and make sure that everyone's clear on like what was going on. Why don't you start by saying what you've heard that I've been saying? After you were coming in the room, like attacking me, on I feel as though like every time I try to like speak to you, you're just like, the only person I feel like quite mean is you. For you to come into the room like that and say I'm being mean to you well, is like yeah, very, I did because that's I, a very huge accusation to say I'm being mean to you. Sophia's so hypocritical. She's like saying to me how I felt attacked and then I was like, what are you doing right now? You're doing exactly what I did. I feel like sometimes you're just like avoiding me and very cold to me. I'm a quite a sensitive person when I feel that way. I, I like to ask because I'd like to be friends with you. I didn't ever consider you a close friend of mine here, so it was just shocking to like all of a sudden hear you like saying I'm angry and pissed and kind of painting this like different perception of me. Like that's the way I felt. I'm saying I can't help the way I feel and that's why I confronted you. I had good intentions. I didn't have bad intentions. Okay. Anyway, I I've, I don't know what else to say more. After the whole talk, yeah, I'd say I wasn't like completely satisfied with it. I just know, and she's always been very good with words. For me, it was just whatever. Nadia Mail. One side fit all. What? <laughs> We're all gonna wear the same thing, maybe? I instantly knew it was gonna be one dress that everybody has to wear. I had a few bad shoots, but the next one may be amazing. You all look yeah. like be inside one Delighting you always.
Hello, girls. Hello. Welcome to Universal Studios at Resorts World Sentosa, Singapore. You're going to be shooting at this beautiful and iconic building right behind me. Uh, girls, the actual building is situated in one of fashion's most exciting cities, New York. And as Alicia Keys said, it's a concrete jungle where dreams are made of. Girls, tonight, all of you are going to be wearing the exact same dress. The dress has over 100 meters of fabric in it and it's close to 15 kilos. Mm. 15 kilos means not much movement. I was definitely a little scared. Girls, I want to introduce you to one of Singapore's top art directors, Yuan. Hello, girls. Your photographer today is someone that I've collaborated with on many projects. He's worked with some of the top stylists and shot in some of the most exotic cities in Asia. His name is Tun Liang, but I prefer to call him by his nickname, Tunes. Hi, girls. <laughs> all right, girls, are you ready? Yes! As they all say, if you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. Okay, go, go, go. Today's the first shoot that all of you are going to look absolutely glamorous. Mm. Glamorous. It's have no time to practice in the mirror. It's quite make me nervous and worry about my face position. I'm loving my hair. It's gorgeous and I feel elegant. Already looking like a queen. Off with her heads! <laughs> I think my hair will make me to look like a rock star. <laughs> hey girls, you see? I'm gonna make a video. Thank you, Tresemme. All the girls come over to me. As you know, the gown is really, really heavy. I really need you to work it. No one except you must know how heavy it weighs. Okay, I brought some tear sheets for you. Look at this. This gown is even heavier than the gown that you're wearing. So there are lots of ways you can actually make the gown flow. Are we ready? Yeah. Okay. Hello, Helena. Hi. Okay, now this is your space. Okay. Turn around, play with the dress. Feel free to just play and, and create different shapes. Mm. But always remember the photographer is there. Okay. Don't be afraid to look away. Okay. Okay, let's go. Ready, one, two, go. More energy, come on, Helena. Mm -hmm. Work it out. Chin up slightly. Good. Watch your mouth, Helena. And your eyes. Yeah. Don't look too high. Okay. I was trying to concentrate on my face. I know that my lips naturally look very hard. So I was just trying to focus on that. Helena, relax your facial muscles. Yeah, you're looking really tense. Mondra, man, yes. that's good. That's good. Helena is taking a bit of time to warm up, but she's starting to do interesting things with the dress. I'm sensing dancer. Lovely. The shape of the dress is nice. It was a good photo shoot. I had more fun with it this time. I gave up my all. I'm very proud of myself. Beautiful. Okay, let's Swing it! One, two, go! Beautiful! Oh, that's nice, Jessica. Chin, Jessica, your neck. Lovely. Ready, go! I want to do something crazy with the dress. More shoulder, yep. Oh, her eyes look lovely. The dress is so heavy, but I'm trying to not feel that I'm tired and I'm sweating. Beautiful, beautiful. Good. That's nice. That's nice. I want it to be like it can fry. I swing with all my energy, like really fast, and that is all my technique, and I think it's good. That's it's lovely. lovely. Yeah. I thought Jessica moved like a dream. You couldn't tell that the dress was so heavy. She's making the dress look absolutely fluid. I think she's nailing it. Well done, well Jessica. Well done, Jessica. Move a bit to your left. Okay, good. Well, she's playing with the dress, which is really yeah. nice. I like what you're doing with the dress, Asta. Yeah. Very nice. The difference between Asta now and Helena earlier is Helena looked like a dancer, but Asta looked like a model playing with the dress and creating shapes with the dress. Asta, you've got really, really heavy, smoky eyes, so you've got to work to bring out your eyes, okay? The dress looks beautiful, but she no, tends to get tired very easily. Same energy. energy. Good. Oh, yes. It was physically tiring. I was all sweating. Maybe that shows in my eyes and they tend to think it's lack of energy. Kicking out is good. 
Vanessa is doing beautiful things with the dress. But after a couple of shots, her eyes start to wander, she starts to look tired. She's got to learn how to nail every single shot. But we've got some gems. Oh, yes, Lovely. that's nice. Lovely, Sophia. At the count of three, one, two, go. My height was possibly an advantage for this shoot because the dress wasn't as long, so I don't think I stepped on it as much as other girls. Nice. Continue, go. Okay, Sophia, can you try something different? Sure. Something with less armpits? Okay, that's good. That's half an armpit. <laughs> Relax your shoulder a bit. Ready, one, two, go. Sophia, I love what you're doing with the dress. Watch your mouth. Sophia needs to watch the expression on her face. She tends to lose the intensity in some shots. Okay, Sophia, your eyes are not consistent and your lips are spoiling the picture. Daniel kept saying your mouth and your eyes are kind of not clicking with the picture. So take a moment and then do it again. And then from then, I think it got better. Sophia, your last 10 frames. Don't waste this, yeah? More energy here. Swing it. Work it out. Good. Okay, hold on. Your expressions. Relax your lips, all right? Don't just intense your eyes, all right? Good. Just hold on. Slow down. <laughs> right, count of one, two, then you... Energy, all right? Just swing it out, all right? The dress is really heavy. I feel tired because of the dress. Stephanie, I'd like to see a bit more life in your eyes because right. right now it's flat and you look dazed. Yeah? Okay, ready? One, two, go. It's not One, working. Two, go. It's really not working. Okay, Stephanie, why don't you try swinging the dress around rather than throwing it about like a bag of garbage? Daniel said like the uh, movements, it's not working. There's always something wrong with every frame. Stephanie, what you're doing with the dress is not working. So why don't we try some posing shots? I feel like it's not as amazing as I wanted it to be. And I feel like maybe I lost it. Stephanie is so frustrating. She's just not putting enough. She's not working the gown. Her eyes are dead. I don't know what she's doing with her mouth. She looks completely distracted. She's in danger of going home this week. There's the dread hanging over my head. I could be going home. I really need a good lucky shot. All right, are we ready? Yeah. Yes. Hey, man, it's wow. Give me a five. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go. Not too high up. You're blocking your face. Okay, put a bit more energy into yeah. your movements. Yep. Do a full turn and then let the photographer capture you. Okay. Okay, wait, where is that Vava Voom Kate? It looks like Kate is on Valium. Bring back that life, bring back that intensity. Kate is starting a little slow. She nails one shot and she misses the next five shots. Stronger, Kate, stronger. Don't lose concentration. One, two, two. Oh, careful. Oh, oh. Careful, careful. Are you alright? No, it's okay. I just stepped in the dress. I tried to keep my dress like make it fry, you know. I fall. <laughs> But I was kind of worried about the dress. Oh my God, finish. They're gonna send me home right now because I stepped on the dress. Sorry, I, I didn't damage the dress. Are you okay? Yeah, it's good because it gives me more energy now. All right. <laughs> okay, 30 okay, seconds. let's go. Okay. 30 Last seconds. 30 seconds. Good. Yep, ask your body more. Yes, feel tall. Make yourself look tall, right? Time's up. Why? I can fail. Okay. One last shot. One last shot. It's okay. This must be your money shot. Yeah. One, two, go. Okay. <laughs> I think if it, you get that shot, I felt it's going to be perfect. <laughs> Look at my face. Why this is, is the best face? shot. This, this is, is the best shot. shot. We're choosing this for that. <laughs> We're choosing this for that. What do you think, girls? Horrible? Look, fake ants. <laughs> Let's go change it. I don't want to talk anymore. You're flirting with a hot female stranger in an elevator. You want to spice things up, so you press the emergency button. Here's what could happen. 
She finds you bold and sexy. She finds you bold and sexy, and so does her twin sister. She finds you bold and sexy, so does her twin sister, and so does her twin sister's twin sister. She's a nearsighted contract killer who's mistaking you for her target. You're sent into a parallel dimension only populated by 21 to 23 year old girls who have a fear of commitment. Nothing happens. The button is broken. She finds you bold and sexy, and she sneezes hot dogs. It's actually a button that has been secretly installed by Hugh Hefner back in 1967 when he was using this elevator quite often. There's only one way to know what will really happen. Press to play. Do you aspire to be a top model? Enter our contest and you can be on your way to a career with Storm Model Management in London. See store displays for details. Playboy Fragrances, for her and for him. Hello ladies. It's the end of the journey for one of our girls this week. But for the rest of you who continue in the competition, you'll be competing for some very amazing prizes. A modeling contract covering the UK and Europe with Storm Models, including a three month all expenses paid working trip to London. You'll land yourself on the cover of Harper's Bazaar magazine. There'll be 100,000 Singapore dollars. You will also be the face of the Canon Camera 2013 campaign and drive away in a new Subaru XV. And now on to our fabulous judges. First up, the multi-talented photographer, Todd Anthony Tyler. Hi ladies. Our fashion director extraordinaire, Daniel Boy. And your model mentor, Joey Mead King. So let's get this started. This was the girls' first ever night shoot. Now, not only was it a night shoot, the girls all had to work with the same dress. So it was an equal playing field. So which one of the girls really worked it and which one was not able to pull it off? Let's have a look. First up, Kate. How did you feel at the photo shoot? No, not good. I'm so bad and fat and no, it's so... Ee. Are you ready to see your photograph now? Okay, show me. It's okay. Let's have a look. <laughs> I think it's not that bad. I think it's a great shot. I love your face. The crazy Kate that we see here is so composed. The dress also looks amazing. When you stepped on set, you were flat, you were bland, and I said, bring back the real Kate. I tried to be like a Sophia, you know, kick the dress, kick, but I fell, and then I wake up, it's good. And you nailed every single shot after. You know, don't try to be someone else. Bring your personality and it will show in the pictures. I was told you're supposed to feel like the queen of the night. But you are the queen of the fashion carnival. <laughs> carnival, yeah, it's true. <laughs> I look like a carnival. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next up, Asta. Your face is beautiful in this shot, although I hear again that you had issues maintaining the energy and focus. You have to show us that you're doing something different. At this point in the competition, we shouldn't be really telling you things that we told you three weeks ago. I'm just wondering, do you know that you're losing energy? Maybe you don't. Uh, I feel like I'm giving it my all, but I don't know why. You can be a top model, and I really, really want to see you in all the top magazines, and I know you can do it. Thank you. Helena, feeling better? Much better. Okay, we'll have a look at your best shot now. I see that you are queen of drama. You are almost like a bird of paradise and you're showing us your colors. I thought you started off a bit tentative. You weren't giving the shapes I wanted, but when you stopped overthinking it, you were such a joy to watch. I love the picture, I love the fluidity, I love the fact that your fingers are graceful. Only critique, I would say, is again, to be a well-rounded model. You do want to be able to give a range of looks. So you have to remember, when you lighten up and you have fun, it shows in your photos, it shows in your face. Thank you. Thank you. Sophia. When I first looked at all of the photos, I thought that this was the most impressive of all of the dress movements, the perfect height for this kind of dress. You handled the dress really nice, but for a couture, high fashion, 
kind of direction. Felt like you were getting a little bit maybe lost. And your facial features, it's really something you need to try to put together. It's from Helena's Bird of Paradise. We have Angry Bird over here. I felt like you were engulfed by the dress. It's not a bad photo, Sophia. But then again, it becomes lucky shot, Sophia. Sorry, I'm gonna have to disagree with you, Joey. Cat fight. <laughs> this dress was made for you and you knew it. But try to bring a range of, of poses to a shoot. Thank you, Sophia. Thank you. Jessica. Hi, Jessica. You look confident coming down the runway. Let's have a look at your best photo. This could be a campaign shot for the dress because you give such a wide range of poses, great expressions. I love how you look. And your photo, you're like a phoenix that landed because I could see that it is a glorious dress. I love it. I really see you changing. You really pull this off and you look like a gorgeous glamour queen. Thank you. Thank you. Stephanie. What do you see? It's not as bad as I expected it. It's not great, right? Stephanie, it was quite a pain to watch you on set yesterday. The dress felt like it was 15 kilos, and it showed in the pictures. You were throwing the skirt around like it was a bag of garbage. This was a lucky shot, a lucky, lucky shot. Couldn't seem to really get together the movement of the dress at the same time as an expression. Overall, it's a little bit of a train wreck. I know you can do better. You know my worry, Steph, is that you might be hitting a roadblock. And I need you to expand and get out of this box. Thank you. All right, ladies, the judges and I will now deliberate. And when we return, we will know who is still in the running to becoming the first ever Asia's Next Top Model. It's really lovely to see these photographs. Our girls, how far they've come. Yeah. So at this stage, we really need to look the complete package. Why don't we start with Ashta? I really do love her face. I honestly do think she has a great look. Even our guests on panel always yeah. do favor her. And the her. photographers as well. Yes. She has a lovely face, but still disconnected again. I just want to see her come out more. I, I know she's in there because we saw her in the video that she did for Tresemme. Helena? It was good that she had a breakdown because she's back. Whilst I love this picture, it looks like a ballerina. It doesn't look like a model. But do you think she's strong enough to be in the fashion industry? The industry is very vicious and it's very tough. Every time we give her some kind of advice, she takes it as harsh criticism. And she crumbles. And she crumbles. Yeah. yeah. Stephanie. The picture doesn't do it for me. It's a lucky shot. She can't ride on that any longer. I know. Look at how tedious the gown looks. Five of the other girls worked it. Why can't she? You know what, I want to burn this picture. Can I just burn it? It was definitely a very weak shot. She has model qualities. I feel like when you see her, designers will book her on the spot, right? Well, Maybe if she's... she walks in, I would book her, but can she deliver? Jessica. She did such a good job here. Kind of in the fashion context, overall, it's a really solid fashion image. I love this picture. As you can see how expensive the dress is, and I love the expression. I like the way that she presented herself today. I think she's progressed so much. I Jessica see. is now a model. Lucky shot, Lucky Sophia. Sophia. I thought that her face was not too bad. But certainly in comparison to the other girls, her expressions were pretty poor. For me, I I'm kind packaging. of doing an overall package. Yeah, yeah. As a model, she was the weakest one. Crazy Kate, not looking so crazy here. Mm -hmm. I was finally, finally glad that I could manage to pull the real Kate out on a photo shoot. And look at how amazing the picture is. And you want to work great. with someone yeah. like that. I'm amazed. This woman keeps shocking me all the time. All right, judges. I think we know who are our top two girls and the bottom. And it's time to bring the girls back in.
six beautiful girls stand before me. The photographs I have in my hand represent the girls who will still be in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. The winner of best photograph this week goes to Jessica. Congratulations, you're still in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. The runner-up for best photo this week, Kate. Congratulations, you're still in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. Thank you. Ashta. Congratulations. Next up, Helena. Thank you. Helena, you regained some of your confidence. This is what we like to see. You need to just inject a little bit more of your good vibes and good energy and keep up the good work. Stephanie, Sophia, please step forward. Two incredibly beautiful girls stand before me. And who goes home? The girl with the beautiful face but the judges feel might not be high fashion. Or the girl with the great body, but just needs to learn how to control her face. Sophia, you just need to learn your angles. Work in front of the mirror, learn to understand what works for you and what doesn't. Steph, you're not giving enough variety. And in this competition, we need a model who has that versatility. You need to come out of your comfort zone now. For both of you, these photographs were your lucky shot. And so, we're giving you both another chance but next week, someone has to go home. Sophia? Congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. Go and practice in the mirror. Stephanie, congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. You better get to work, okay? I'm really happy that I didn't go home. I'm hoping that my learning curve is fast enough to catch up to the other girls, because I'm not ready for a goodbye. I've been through two nine elimination rounds. I can't make mistakes anymore, because next time I'll be really going home. On the next, Asia's Next Top Model. Oh! Ready? The girls unleashed some pent-up frustration and their imagination is put to the test in their toughest challenge yet. No, this is mine. Uh-oh, he caught me. It's sink or swim for the photo shoot. Calm down, get used to it. And one girl takes a plunge to the bottom. It's the end in this competition, but many doors are going to open for you.